The next stage of Guy's training is at Duxford, near Cambridge. During the Battle of Britain, five fighter command squadrons were based here. Today, it's where Guy will take the intermediary step towards dogfighting in a hurricane. He's at the stage of his pilot training that was called service flying, with a machine that the recruits of 1940 would have spent 50 hours in. That? Yeah, I have it. What were you thinking it was? The North American Harvard gave pilots the experience of a canopy, retractable landing gear, and 200 miles per hour. They're being used for training purposes. Speeds are nowadays so fast that before a pilot can handle Spitfires at 350 miles an hour, he must learn on somewhat slower aircraft. So the mixture and the prop are the extra ones? Yeah. Vintage aircraft specialist Anna Walker is back to teach Guy using the same methods and manuals from 1940. It's not really that complicated once you get used to it. This is what we have in the front. Oh, yeah. yeah, bloody hell, there's a lot of stuff. Where am I going, in the back of the floor? I go in the back. It's called the pilot maker because it's such a good trainer, but it's also known as the widow maker. Because when you get it wrong, things go wrong very quickly. I'm excited, yeah, 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 yeah. nervous. Clear prop! Wow, it's another ambitious day for us. I would like him to be able to do some evasive con combat maneuvers on his own. But I'm not going to do it if I think he's not up to it. Because if you overcook it, you know, the Harvard you know, can bite very easily. I have a great flight. Thank you. In this, the first of several sorties today, Guy will be expected to show basic competency at the controls. So, Guy, you have control of your aeroplane. Thank you. Anna is not joking when she says you have control. If I wanted to plow it into the ground, I could have plowed it into the ground. No bother. No bother. OK, just left of the wing. I want it to fly straight ahead. Wings level. Look at the wing tip. OK. There you go. Let's go left a bit, guys. be much more regimented training date because now I know what he's capable of. Then to the left now. When we fly flying the Tiger Moth, we had like four items on the checklist and you no know, half a dozen instruments to look at. Add up. Nice climbing turn. Now we have you know, a dozen instruments to look at. Hydraulics, all sorts of other things. It's just smothered in knobs and switches and dials. Battle of Britain pilots were instinctive aviators. Yeah, 140 mile an hour. But they could also scan their instruments like an engineer. 1,900 feet. For Guy, it's just like driving his van. 2,000 feet. Man, I do like a lot of dials on my van. I do like my oil temperature. I do like to see my, my compass in my van, which way I'm going. T's and P's in the green. Temperatures and pressures in the green. <laughs> Yeah, sound very professional now, don't I? <laughs> so far, Guy's fast track flying course has been an enjoyable experience. But that's all about to change as he enters the advanced phase. Now I'm going to demonstrate to you. Very gentle wiggle over, okay? Okay. Follow me through. A wing over 
can be used to outrun a pursuing plane. It starts with a dive to gather speed. I want to see about 180 miles an hour. That momentum allows a steep climb to be pulled. When we get to the top, I don't want to see less than 110 miles an hour. Then the aircraft is turned tightly through 180 degrees so it can accelerate away from the chasing plane. So, you have control, and I'd like you to do the same. So, pull, pull, pull. 180, pull. Let's have lots of energy. Keep going up, 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 up. I want to see high gain, high gain. You're turning too soon. I have control. Okay. Turning in a Harvard with insufficient height, is dangerous. If you just turn left, the plane's just going to dive down whilst turning left, and you'll lose a 1,000 feet like that. If you're not a 1,000 feet above the ground, you'll be in the ground. You know what I'm saying? Across numerous flights, Guy struggles to execute this combat U-turn, either not pulling up enough or pulling too much. Hey, too much pull. So I have control. Too much pull. OK, OK. If we pull too tight, you're out of energy, stall, crash die. Watch the speed, watch the speed, watch the nose, watch the nose. Guy has found his limit. Try to be more coordinated. Anna has to make allowances for basic errors. We're going to go to the right. Go left, OK, the other right. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Encourage Guy to fly faster. Just drive it down a bit. You need the speed, remember? And remind him what a pilot is actually there to do. Fly it, fly it, fly the damn thing, fly it. We had 200 miles an hour there. You could have done lovely things with it. As he puts the plane into increasingly dangerous positions... Don't let the nose drop. Yeah, we lost the block there a little bit. It looks like the dream of being a Battle of Britain pilot could be over. Happy with what you just did? No, oh, disaster. Thanks here. Dogfighting in a hurricane now looks like being an impossibility.